What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner here. Hey, there's this new study, right? And I'm looking through it, and it's something that interests me. You guys know I'm big on exogenous ketones. Go BHB, that's my jam. It's my jam. The greatest technology ever created for health and performance. I'll state that out loud. I'll state that for the record. Yes, I am comparing it to creatine in that matter, but I don't think you should choose. I think you should take both. Besides that, there is a fake ketone on the market. So it's called 1,3-butane dial. Basically, if a supplement you buy has that ingredient on it, just don't buy it. This thing is shown to be hepatoxic, and it's also sold in addition to as a performance supplement. It's sold as an alcohol alternative to get you buzzed. Weird, right? It goes to your liver, potentially converted to ketones, but as it goes to your liver, it depletes your body of ATP, and it's hepatoxic. Really, really hepatoxic. But beyond that, what I respect is when people do studies, right? I really respect it. What I don't respect is when people do bad studies. And what I really don't understand is how people get these really bad studies published. That's beyond me. That, that's just beyond me. And this study might be the most egregious of all. Now, I'm going to put a little screenshot right here of the study. You could look it up right now. It was basically a study on 1,3-butane dial. And as I look through the study, I'm like, well, that's, that's great. If it shows some positive results, let's talk about it. But imagine if I did this. Picture this. Like, I own a company. And I do a study on that company's products. And the subjects for the study are employees of said company. Not only that, it's not even blinded. <laughs> it, it was the, it's the wildest study ever. So imagine the person paying your bills is like, take this. Let me know what you think. That's what happened in this study, and somehow it got published. So I want to go over the faults in this study, and I want to kind of go through how to teach you guys how to read studies. And that's why you got to look at all the studies I've been a part of, all the studies I've funded. They're done hater-proof. Hater-proof, double-blind, placebo, published by reputable journals. You, know, you got people like Dr. Jose Antonio, um, Dr. Tim Ziegenfuss, all those guys. Those are the guys you want there in, in your corner doing the studies because they're going to be honest. If your stuff doesn't work, they're not going to ruin their reputation to do it. So here's, here's a crazy thing. So besides the point that all this is, you know, I'll go over the study. Of the employees who took the product, 40% got dizzy. 40% reported dizziness, and 30% reported severe GI, GI distress. Like crazy stuff, right? So even the employees were like, I don't know. This, this, I don't know about this stuff, right? <laughs> so here's some problems with it. One is it's uncontrolled. It was open label. Again, it did not have any differentiation between the product effects and placebo, fasting, diurnal differences, any of that stuff. Nothing. It's just like, here, take our product. Does it work? Sure, boss. Yeah. And there was no comparator arm. There was no placebo beverage, no racemic 1,3-butane dial, let's say an ester, um, no other exogenous ketone. So there was no, nothing to compare it against. There was no placebo. I don't even care if you use the other stuff. There's no placebo. So the tolerability conclusions are, are bunk. They're weak. They don't make sense. And it was also self-administration at home uncontrolled environment, dietary variation, the data vari validity is, is, is pointless. It's pointless. So there's, there's a, a, a severe conflict of interest. So it was funded and partially conducted by that company. I'm not going to throw them out there. You can read the study yourself. I'll link it down below. Um, with company employees among the authors, okay, recruitment came from company employees. So even though, and they said, even though steps were taken to avoid coercion, how? If my boss comes to me and says, hey, you like your job? Yeah. Here, try our product and participate in this study. Let us know your real thoughts. All right, guys. Um, severe volunteer bias. Um, internal recruitment is, is ridiculous. Like when we do studies, it's you go off, you tell the researcher, we need this age group, Right. There is a recent study done on GoBHB that you're going to see that they actually decided to do it for cognition. The study's going to be published in the next month or two for cognition on young folks, 18 to 22, with the healthiest brains. Think about it. 60-year-old brain, 60 years old. The neuroplasticity is gone.
So imagine doing a study on the healthiest brains and getting results. That happened. So it's basically, you know, the interpretation of this is product promotion. This is an evaluation. This isn't trying to see if it's going to work. Now, the reason for the two gram study on GoBHP is to see what amount can we take to get results? Like we know it works at five grams, 10 grams because we have the data. What does it do at two grams? So another thing is when you look at a study, the more you, the more people you have, the more expensive it is, right? I guess it doesn't really make sense. Maybe they only had 26 employees. I don't know. But studies, I usually aim now the BCA study I did in 2009, 36, because that's all I can afford. Now uh, studies I'm a part of 100 plus people, which are very expensive. So there's only 26 participants, 26. That's not just statistically efficient. It just isn't. Um, th there was no stratified sample size calculation. Nope. Um, age was 25 to 61, BMI 19 to 33 kilograms. Um, ranges are narrow, older, obese, metabolically compromised. Um, so the group most likely to use these exogenous ketones, not really that represented fit individuals, right? Not 18 to 22. That's for sure. 25 to 61 is a hell of a range. And that's cool. I like that. But 26 people, there's not enough people to have that kind of range. So here's the deal. So participants measured BHB using cons uh, consumer meters unsupervised. So again, they didn't go to the lab. They didn't take measurements. It was just them doing it on their own. And that's like giving, giving a kid a science test at home and telling him not to use chat GPT. All right, bro. Uh, device's accuracy beyond three MMOL per L uh, has not been validated, yet several readings exceeded that threshold. Um, two baseline BHB values, 72 and 103, were identified as clearly entered in error and manually replaced with mean values. That's a breach of data integrity. I have no idea how this thing was, was published. I, first thing I said when I saw this is I have no idea how this was published. And remote self-reporting of symptoms and data, um, it, it just increases the potential error. So statistical analysis issues, multiple models, mixed effects, transformations were abandoned because of non-normal residuals. Final comparisons used multiple paired T-tests or Wilcoxon tests without correction. Um, authors justify lack of correction as pilot and even exploratory studies require a control of type 1 error. Numerous POCOC and unplanned analyses. Um, so there you go. Inflate the false positive risk. Um, new, some results described as nearly significant. Those are overinterpreted. Um, so here's the deal. So the primary endpoint end point is pharmacokinetic, not clinically meaningful. Safety and tolerability, it requires longer exposure. I mean, there wasn't, it wasn't long enough. Sleepiness is not an appropriate neurocognitive measure for acute metabolic studies. It's too coarse to detect subtle effects. Uh, GI symptom scales, while validated for exercise studies, they haven't been validated for fasting or home use. So again, screwed that one up. No biochemical safety labs, glucose, electrolytes, liver enzymes were collected. They, did, they did nothing. And duration was too short for safety or efficacy. Only five hours of observation. What they spent like $10 on this study? Well, I mean, it was probably included in that dude's salary. So no follow-up or delayed cumulative effects. Nothing. No follow-up. Um, well tolerated cannot be generalized to chronic or repeated intake scenarios. <sighs> I don't know what to say, man. It just seems like 1,3-butane dial is flailing. And the thing is, their marketing is so damn good that people are still going to buy it. They're still going to buy it because they're spending millions and millions of dollars on influencers and people just see the word ketone and they're like, oh my God, I need a kid. They, they, people don't understand. There is 1,3-butane dial, which is this. There is the ester, which is 25% 1,3-butane dial and 75% BHB. And then there is the only legit, the, the greatest technology ever created. This is why I'm pissed off. And, and I, I'm, I get pissed off very rarely. But I get pissed off when people lie. And I get pissed off when people are just disingenuous and they, they're scammers. Because to call a product a ketone, when it's not a ketone, it's a precursor. It is a toxic precursor. 
Yes, I said it, toxic precursor. And I encourage anyone from any of those brands that have 13 butin dial, come at me. I'll put you right here on this very channel. On this very channel, I'm not a scientist. I don't have a PhD. I have a California education. College and, and primary school. I'm, a, I'm literally a product of the education system, the public education system, till college I went private, of California. Have you looked at, I think they were ranked 48th when I graduated. I'm not even playing. I think we were just like Louisiana and Mississippi had us beat. So you're telling me that with my tiny California educated bodybuilder brain that you're afraid to debate me? If you think I'm full of crap, if you think that I don't know what I'm talking about, I encourage, I'll, I'll platform you. That is free marketing, free marketing for all of your products. But I got something to say, guys. I've been forced to do something. And that is to come out with a real energy shot. One that is just going to change the game. It's going to change the world as you see it. Not one of these B vitamin shots, not one of these caffeine shots, but something that actually gives you real energy, real cellular energy that powers you through that the more you take, the healthier you are. There's no top out. There's no LD50 for go BHB, none. I'm not saying take 100 grams a day, but technically you could. There's no LD50. And you're looking at the electrolytes. If you're using the acids, there's no electrolytes. But again, like I work it into my program, like you got Clean Form Nutrition, Go BHB, MTS Nutrition, Go BHB. You got those two brands and you're able to mix it. I just put it in my, I have it in my shaker right now. I always have it in my shaker. Greatest thing ever created. And it's in stock. Go to tigerfitness.com. You can buy them and they're awesome and they'll change your life. What I hate is, and hate's a strong word, but unfortunately I can't think of a stronger word right now that won't get me banned off of YouTube. What I, what, what I find abhorrent is when people lie to make money. And I've done this for 1999, over 25 years I've been in this business. I've been in this industry and I've never lied. I believe in what I sell. I believe in what I do. And my reputation in this industry, behind the scenes, YouTube, you guys come up with your own conclusions because I don't blame consumers for calling, for, for having like doubts. When I say, hey, this is the best technology ever. I don't blame you. You've been lied to every effing day by the supplement industry. Gain 12 pounds in two days of pure muscle. Lose all body. It's like, that's why when I started this, my whole goal was to focus on training and focus on diet. And supplements are just that. They supplement. They don't substitute. With GoBHB, it's something that if you're really unhealthy and you take it, it's going to help you. It's going to help your health. It definitely is. But the healthier you are, the more you're going to feel it, the more it's going to work. But it's still going to have those benefits no matter what stage you're in. Whether you're 400 pounds obese, it's still going to help you. Whether you're getting ready for a bodybuilding show or you're, you're a collegiate base. I was just talking to my nephew yesterday. Went to dinner with him. I'm in San Diego right now. I talked to my nephew at dinner. He's like, Go BHB has changed everything. I don't need caffeine anymore. People in the dugout are just maxing out energy drinks. I don't need it. I'm focused. And he's a catcher. I'm catching 100 mile power fastballs. My reaction time's better than ever. And look, I'll be real. I send him free stuff now, but he was buying it. He was buying it for months when I told him about it on his own dime. I'm just saying, like, here's a D1 catcher giving you that feedback. So for me, looking at everything, I'll tell you this. If you try Go BHB and you can read the comments on my old videos, people who try it and come back, they're like, thank you so much for telling me about this. And it's, it's not an ingredient. It's a technology. It's truly going to change the world. We always use that, that, you know, I always use make America healthy again. But here's the deal. This is going to help make America and the world healthy. Not again, but healthier than ever. And perform better and feel better and think better. I, I can't state enough how much this will change the world. And we're just now 
with the data coming in, multiple studies, millions of dollars in studies underway, guys, this is just, it's just an honor to be here. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to give you a deal right now. If you go to tigerfitness.com, use coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A MAHA. Two BHBs on that site. One is Clean Form Nutrition, one is MTS Nutrition. Buy either one of them. So coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, gets you 10% off that and anything else you order. And in case you're international, hear me out here. International, we didn't do international orders for the longest. And when we did, shipping was through the roof. TigerFitness.com now has it where international shipping is free with orders over $275. That might sound like a lot, and it does, 275 bucks, it's a lot of money. But the average order internationally was $300 because you buy $150 in stuff, you're paying $150 in shipping. This way you're spending the same as people used to spend, but you're not paying for shipping. So you're actually gonna get more stuff. So anyway guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video, click on the notification bell, and Go support us. Buy your BHB. If you don't buy from Tiger Fitness, buy it from somewhere. Why? Because I'm confident it's going to change your life. I am confident it's going to change your life. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Mark Lobliner. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell because the greatest technology ever created. That's not a game.